The history of Chandler Parkside Community and how it got its name. The history of Zachariah Chandler by Matthew Brad. From his youth, Chandler had strongly been opposed to slavery, and he desired that the Northern Whig Party would be able to stop Southern slave power from spreading slavery into the Western territories. Chandler financially supported the Underground Railroad in Detroit that assisted fugitive or runaway slaves to find a safe haven. Secretary Chandler fired corrupt agents at the Bureau of Indian Affairs and fired and replaced the Indian Commissioner and Bureau Clerk. In addition, Secretary Chandler banned Indian attorneys from the Interior Department, who swindled Indian tribes into paying for bogus representation in Washington, D.C. Secretary Chandler fully endorsed President Grant's peace policy initiative to civilize American Indian tribes. Chandler, raised and educated in New Hampshire, moved to Detroit in 1833 where he became a prominent businessman and leading politician. Chandler, a Presbyterian, was strongly against slavery from his youth, and he financially supported the Underground Railroad. In 1857, Chandler was elected U.S. Senator from Michigan serving until March 3, 1875. During the Civil War and Reconstruction, Senator Chandler was a leading radical Republican advocating strong prosecution of the Union war effort, the end of slavery, and civil rights for freedmen African Americans. In 1852, Chandler ran as a Whig candidate for the governor of Michigan, however he was defeated. Having supported Kansas as a free state without slavery, Chandler signed a petition that formed the Republican Party on July 6, 1854. In 1856, Chandler was a delegate at the first Republican Party National Convention in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and served as member on the Republican National Committee. In January 1857, Chandler was elected U.D. S. Senator as a Republican, having succeeded Senator Lewis Cass and served until March 3, 1875. He was a vigorous opponent of slavery and lent his assistance to the Underground Railroad. Chandler attacked the 1857 Dred Scott U.S. Supreme Court decision, which upheld the Fugitive Slave Law. In 1858, Chandler opposed the admission of Kansas under the Lecompton Constitution, which allowed slavery, and took an active part in debates over this issue. On February 11, 1861, Chandler wrote the famous so-called Blood Letter to Austin Blair, the governor of Michigan. This letter contained the sentence, Without a little bloodletting this union will not, in my estimation, be worth a rush. The letter was quoted throughout the country, and Chandler defended his statement on the floor of the Senate. He was closely associated with Senators Benjamin F. Wade of Ohio and Lyman Trumbull of Illinois, whom Lincoln's secretary and biographer John Hay derisively referred to as the Jacobin Club, alluding to the infamous extremists of the French Revolution. In 1879, Chandler was elected U.S. Senator and was a potential presidential candidate. However, he suddenly died after giving a speech in Chicago. Although the nation was looking toward North and South reconciliation and blacks were becoming disenfranchised, Chandler remained a lifelong advocate of civil rights.